Seven Animals Found Only in Canada Canada is famous for its abundant wildlife, and our expansive and varied geography is home to several species which are found nowhere else on Earth. Unfortunately, many of our uniquely Canadian species are threatened with extinction, but by getting to know them a little better, we can help preserve this unique part of Canada's identity. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to Woe Canada for all the latest Canadian content. Number 1. The Vancouver Island Marmot A relative of the squirrel family, the Vancouver Island Marmot are the largest of all the marmots, with a mature adult reaching the size of a fully grown house cat. Recognized for their rich chocolate brown fur, broken by distinctive white patches on their muzzle and chest, the Vancouver Island Marmot are sometimes considered to be Canada's panda and the face of Canadian wildlife conservation. At one point, there were fewer than 30 of these marmots left in the wild, but thanks to intense conservation efforts and Toronto Zoo captive breeding program, there are now around 200 of these uniquely Canadian marmots scurrying around the alpine meadows of central Vancouver Island. Number 2. The Algonquin Wolf A subspecies of Eastern Wolf, Algonquin Wolves are centered around Algonquin Provincial Park in Ontario. Smaller than a grey wolf, with a distinctive reddish fur, this little wolf may stem from ancient hybridization with coyotes. Unfortunately, the possibility that these wolves are hybrids and not a distinct species has impacted conservation efforts. With fewer than 500 individuals remaining, this uniquely Canadian predator is threatened with extinction as the Ontario government allows the hunting and trapping of Algonquin wolves outside of protected parks. Number 3. The Wood Bison A subspecies of American bison, the wood bison are the largest land animals in North America. These majestic beasts once ranged into Alaska, but after hunting and the expansion of cattle ranching caused them to be driven to the brink of extinction in the late 1800s, they are now restricted to a few populations in Canada. While still vulnerable to extinction, wood bison numbers have grown from only around 200 animals to over 10,000 wood bison in the wild. They trace their ancestry back to a remnant population at Wood Buffalo National Park, which was set aside for their preservation. Number 4. The Kermode The provincial mammal of British Columbia, the Kermode can be found roaming the rainforests on a number of coastal islands. A subspecies of the American black bear, some Kermode have a creamy white fur caused by a recessive genetic trait and are known as spirit bears. The white fur of the spirit bear gives them the distinct fishing advantage as the fish find them a lot harder to spot than their darker furred counterparts. There are fewer than 500 spirit bears, with Royal Princess and Grebel Island having the highest concentration. Number 5. The Harris's Sparrow Canada's only endemic breeding bird, the Harris's Sparrow, like many Canadians, heads south for the winter where they have no problem taking advantage of backyard bird feeders. Sporting a pink bill set in a distinctive black bib, this is North America's largest sparrow. For breeding, Harris's sparrows are dependent on a tract of tundra stretching from the Northwest Territories southeast into a tiny portion of northwestern Ontario. Their population is declining, so the preservation of their breeding grounds is important. Number 6. The Perry Caribou The smallest and northernmost subspecies of woodland caribou, the Perry Caribou was aptly named after Robert Perry, the first man to reach the North Pole. Like the equally Canadian Dolphin Union Caribou, Perry Caribou migrate across the frozen Arctic seas from island to island and have been best known to wander as far as Greenland. Paler than their southern counterparts, Perry Caribou are nearly entirely white in winter, darken in summer, and have a light grey velvet on their antlers. Due to the extreme location they call home, Perry Caribou are particularly susceptible to extreme weather and climate change. They are currently considered endangered. Number 7. The Lax de Loup Marin Harbour Seal Canada's only freshwater seal is one of only a handful of freshwater seals in the world. While most seals prefer to hang out along the coast and glide through the ocean, the ancestors of these seals became trapped inland around 3,000 to 8,000 years ago when the Laurentian ice sheet retreated. They now call a handful of inland lakes in Quebec's Ungava Peninsula their home. Darker than their coastal counterparts, Inuit consider the pelts of freshwater seals softer and glossier than that of their saltwater cousins. 
Due to hunting entanglements in fishing gear and a restricted range, there may be as few as 100 of these uniquely Canadian seals left. Do you have a favorite Canadian animal? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.